All right, anybody that knows me knows I've been running tight spot quivers, I don't know, since six or seven years now. I know Matt, Matt runs one, Zach runs one. Um, this year I'm super excited about this seven arrow quiver. Not that I necessarily want to hunt with seven arrows because I, don't know, I like how, how light the five arrow, that it has having five arrows and I think it's enough for hunting. But one thing I'm excited about this seven arrow is it's, it's not very much bigger at all. It weighs, it weighs, I don't know, a couple ounces more. It's the same size basically. You just, two arrows go in, we'll do some up close, but the two arrows on this go in a little deeper and they actually go right behind your, your two or two of your middle arrows. But the thing I'm excited about is a lot of times like on a backpack hunt, I'll go in there and like, I'd like to carry a judo arrow so I can practice in camp or have a couple arrows in case I happen to miss. And a lot of times I'll backpack in, I'll set up my camp. And so most hunts, what I'm planning on doing is carrying in seven arrows broadhead you know fully loaded seven arrows and then just drop two of them at camp and that and go hunt and then that way if i happen to miss an elk or miss a deer or i want to practice i've got two extra arrows in, in camp and if i you know if i happen to miss one i only have five arrows then i'm like oh man you don't really got to conserve but it's just going to be cool and it doesn't weigh hardly anymore just to have those two extra arrows a little more insurance on a hunt